Hallelujah. That gate lies Comstock House. Lady Comstock, how lovely to see you. Wonderful of you to make the journey, especially considering your painful death 19 years ago. Lady Comstock? The dress. The thing has mistaken me for my mother. Your fingerprints do not seem to be your own today, Lady Comstock. Are you unwell? This isn't going to work. I think it can. Your mother's dead, Elizabeth. Yes. I think it's time I paid my respects. Let's head to where she's buried. the graveyard on my mother's bed. Hmm. It's locked. Hmm. Got it. Where are you going? Come on. What are we looking for? Open it. Elizabeth, why is your mother a ghost? What up all, Darby from Mindless Productions. This is Bioshock Infinite 1999 mode without using vending machines and collecting all of the infusions. So, this fight sucks. This is one of the hardest fights in the game by far. Um, what I like to do is throw out the crows at them and use that to kind of escape back here. She'll charge at you, but so long as you're doing damage to her, she'll try to run away. She doesn't like it when you shoot her. Um, not very much will hurt her. Um, you, your best bet is the Devil's Kiss. And then to use the Murder of Crows or the Shock Jockey. Shock Jockey actually works pretty well on uh, all the little ghost zombie things that she summons. So yeah. She's constantly summoning these uh, little ghost things, about four at a time. And every time you, you kill one or two of them, she'll summon more. So it's just a constant wave of these little ghost things. Meanwhile, you have to do damage to her while dodging these guys. It is a huge, huge pain in the ass. And especially this fight here, where... You've got a lot of cover just with the tombstones, but these guys aren't stupid. They will flank you. They'll get right behind you, or they'll shoot at you from a distance, just somewhere that they can hit you. They don't care. They're, they're very smart. That's why I like to hide in this back mausoleum area. Just because you've got a bit more cover. Now, eventually, you're going to have to poke your head out, just because she rarely comes back there unless you've Unless she's following you back there. So yeah, this fight sucks ass. And I die... Three times, I think? Two or three times. Um, use your deaths. Because it doesn't fully bring back... Oops, sorry, Mike. It doesn't fully bring back her health. It just brings back a little bit of it. So you can use it to kind of chip away, die, chip away, die. You know, that kind of thing. 
Just keep an eye on how much money you have, because that's the important bit. And just know that resetting the checkpoint resets you all the way back to Comstock Gate. That area where we decided we have to go find your mother's grave. Yeah, it... Bad checkpoint, but I understand why. In 1999, they did reduce the number of checkpoints you have. I did wish they would have done it, you know, throwing a checkpoint when you walked into this graveyard. So I don't have to walk all that distance. Because that's just kicking me while I'm down. Sorry, got a little heated there. Well, as heated as I get, I guess. Anyway, um, just stick to cover as best you can. Like I said, the freaking ghost zombie things are really tough and are not afraid to attack you. Like that freaking shit just appeared and... Ah, they're everywhere. Anyway, Goose Fraba, um, yeah, the, I mean, oh, and of course, now that you're over here, she's going to hide back in that back area where you wanted her to be. That's how it works, you know? Another problem, every time you spawn, you spawn in front of that gate that you came out of, or that gate that, uh, you found the body. Yeah, so you're kind of left with hardly any cover and really nowhere to go. So, it, there's a lot of reasons to hate this part. So, with that, I will leave y'all to it. It's She's almost down, and one of those bullshit moments happen. Um, I end up killing her, but dying at the same time. Spoilers! And it just... Ugh, frustrates the living hell out of me. But anyway, I'll leave y'all to enjoy it. See y'all in the next video. Peace out. Don't die on me, fucker. What is she? I don't know. What am I? My god. Is she the source of my power? But what is she? Alive or dead? Why do you ask? The question is when. The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was... What? Do it now! Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She's both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension. It's a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps! She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, they're sarcastic. There's something off about Lady Comstock. Yeah. I notice. No, you don't understand. She... she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just... I'm so sure it was her. Uh! I know that place. That's Albert Fink's house. I... I love his music. I wonder if he's in there. 